if you want to uh, your home becomes smart uh, many people don't know how to design and choose product and this video and i will explain the how to consider and the, how to choose king Connors product uh, before preparing build a smart home uh, you can see we will explain from these four points uh, just uh, this is all details and i will explain this uh, one by one uh, so let's look at the first the first is the function uh, just what function you need and the second is the reliability and the third expensibility and the last one is how to select your product and for the first about the function let's do on uh, what load you will need to be controlled that uh, you maybe you have lighting curtain and uh, shutter and air condition television multimedia and the LED strip and the camera and the security system environmental detect well uh, uh, garage door so you need to choose the corresponding hardware product according to this equipment be constrained that I will show you later uh, what product hardware you will to uh, choose and how to choose uh, the next I will tell you and the uh, another step uh, what software platform you will to need need to use and maybe you will use your mobile phone or your computer or your pad or by voice country so you can use King Connect's own software or another way you can use the home assistant what is the King Connect software you can use uh, let's look at and you can see and uh, from this page, uh, this is document and you will see this is the King Kong software download just from the service uh, software and you will find uh, the King Kong smart home application just scan QR code to download and this is the Kbox software and this is used by mobile phone uh, this is King Kong smart home uh, that is used by internet uh, use card server and this is the Kbox, uh, the Kbox Smart that is work in local network but now the Android phone also support MQTT by internet but when you without internet you can use this Kbox it's a small software and easy to use and no any information saved on the card server by internet so this is for the mobile phone and, and also have the compute uh, this is the computer software uh, you can change the title uh, change the icon change the name and uh, uh, change many things uh, title and uh, copyright by yourself the software also is open source and another computer software we can see uh, this is another software that can run on the windows pc or the tablet because this support multi-controller uh, country in one panel uh, like this a different IP, different controller will list at this uh, window and this will control the device and also you can change the name and the icon by yourself and also this is a pad you can install the software on the pad and also you can use the voice country by Google Home or by Alexa that need to install the Home Assistant and need the Raspberry Pi on your hardware and this is the third uh, if you only need to use at home so we have said you can use the Kbox this software Kbox uh, used by local network uh, just at home and not if not need a remote country so this is the software and another you can choose the open source software that is home assistant we can see uh, this is home assistant uh, this is open source and very beautiful and many new functions for you can easy to integrate many components um, about thousands of integration and we can just click this view demo you will see this window and this window you will see the dashboard home assistant for the light and for the temperature sensor and the history and the energy monitor and the air conditioning control panel and also have this uh, adult image and media player and have some security sensor 
and uh, some monitoring information. So this is a powerful panel for, for home assistant. And uh, uh, King County, our product will support the home assistant if you just have Raspberry Pi or if you have the KC868 server, the, the hardware. Uh, I will tell you how to choose later. And this is the function uh, you need to choose and you need to uh, define and uh, what load to country that according to the hardware and what software platform you want to use and uh, where you control your device in your home, local network or outside the home by the internet. So that will let your system uh, how to work and uh, you need to uh, define the system uh, work with which work mode. And the second, the reliability. This is very important. Uh, this is a function is the first and this is the second. Uh, we can see. Uh, if you house, uh, you can put new cable. I think uh, you can use the wired solution. If you can't, uh, no way to put the wire. So only can use wireless product. Uh, you, you, you only can choose the wireless product because uh, the core system will strongly remind a wired product because the stability of the wired solution is better than the wireless. So I suggest you uh, install by the wireless, uh, the wired solution because of the stability. Uh, if you install a wireless product, uh, maybe some, sometimes will have will not work, and maybe your customer will always uh, telephone you, uh, so we'll have some troubles. So we strongly remind uh, the wired product. And the second, it also suggests use the solution of expression of the controller and the relay driving unit. That what means I can give you a website. Uh, you can see this picture. Uh, this we will, will use this uh, hardware in next lessons. But I give you see this photo at this time. Uh, you can see that is relay module. That is the core controller. So we we'll let it uh, become two parts independently work so that uh, the high voltage circuit you can see the high voltage circuit and the low voltage circuit there will be separation so that it's good for the anti-interference so that can take up more space because this time uh, you need to this is external module but will stable, then you connect this load uh, to the controller directly. If the relay is damaged, uh, so you can easy to replace by yourself. We can see this external relay module. Because you can see we designed this module, the relay is removable. So if this relay is bad, you can remove it and install a new one uh, to this socket. Will be very easy. Not let need contact with the technical support, uh, just uh, install and remove by yourself. So that is for the removal, easy to repair and then replace. And the next, uh, for the core country system, we still remain the wired solution. So if you use the sensor, uh, you also suggest to choose the wired product as far as possible. Uh, if you can't install the wireless sensor, so you can choose the wireless product. Uh, maybe you can choose some uh, Zigbee uh, sensor. That will be better than the uh, frequency radio uh, device sensor. So this is choose the sensor. We we choose the wireless which uh, we choose the wireless product is better than the wireless. And the next for the smart home system. We hope they have many country switch at the same time. So you can see uh, this is the switch button on the board. Uh, this board, uh, like this K1, K2, K3, K4, that is every key country this relay directly. 
if your system is bad, uh, like this control is bad, and you also can press this button uh, to turn on the relay one or turn off the relay one so that you can control your lamp uh, always by this button for emergency to use. So you can see, uh, even if you have no internet or no LAN, and your load maybe have damaged, and your country is damaged. So the manual switch should be able to turn on or off this important device. Maybe at night, uh, your light, your lamp uh, can't turn on, and this time, uh, you can use this button to turn on the lamp, so that uh, will not affect the daily life and the daily work. So this is very important. Even if the system becomes smart, but we also need to let the system become, every device uh, can become manual country. This is important. So no system can in, uh, guarantee uh, no any mistake. So this time we suggest add the E16 or E8 board can do this. Uh, this is the final way to turn on and turn off the relay by manually. And the three, uh, the expandability. So we can select the communication interface uh, for the Ethernet, for the Wi-Fi, uh, for IS-485, uh, IS-232, and the Bluetooth. So this is the interface of the hardware. We just recommend uh, to use the Ethernet or IS-485 while the communication solution product for long distance. For example, we can see this case 868 server uh, that have Ethernet and the Wi-Fi and the IS-485 and the IS-232. So many ways to for communication and also support the Bluetooth. So this is, I think I choose the IS-232 and the Wi-Fi as the second uh, option because IS-232 is about 12 minutes uh, for the distance, and the Wi-Fi uh, sometimes is not stable. So we prefer uh, to use the Ethernet and the IS-485. And the second, what are communication protocol? Uh, that uh, have some protocol. What this means, uh, maybe you, you are not an engineer and you are not a technique man. So this is a protocol for integrate uh, the device to the third part of the software, like the MQDT, HTTP, and the TCP private protocol. It integrates hardware product to third-part software planned for based on network way. Like this, uh, you can use the network cable and integrate to home assistant. Uh, let the server integrate the home assistant or other device can only all product support uh, integrate uh, to Home Assistant uh, by MQTT. Uh, this is the first way uh, because it's a standard integration protocol uh, for uh, third software. And also will support HTTP and the last one is TCP private. And the second is the mode bus. A mode bus is also a way to integrate hardware product to a third part of plant for use IS-485. When you use mode bus, you will use this IS-485. That will communication by IS-485. The mode bus is industry protocol, so it's high uh, remand uh, for the industry. And also it's remand to use the Ethernet uh, connect or software or hardware uh, to the home network, which is more flexible and confident. And the third is a firmware update, because uh, every product uh, will be updated uh, for some functions or fun uh, fix some bugs. So you can update the firmware as to the network or as 232 or as485. Uh, if you use this uh, case 868 server, uh, you can see there are many ways to update the firmware this time. Uh, you can see this window. Uh, we can use the Ethernet port to update, or by RS232 to update, or RS485 for update. If you have installed the product on the box, you not need to get down the 
controller. You just connect this network cable or the S232 cable or S485 cable for update uh, this firmware. So that will be easy to have new functions and fix some bugs. So this is the uh, third aspect uh, for explanation. And the fourth, uh, how to select the product. Uh, this is uh, important because we need to product to support our smart home automation. The first is the interface. Uh, we'll look at uh, the interface uh, defined. Uh, you can see the case 868 server and the H32 BS have with the wall switch button directly. Uh, you can see this is the H32 BS. Uh, they can connect with this switch button uh, like this K1, K2, K3 and until K32 this part can connect with dry contact switch directly and also we can see the server the server you can see this green terminal that also have support dry contact switch from 1 to 16 channel so this two board you can connect with the wall switch directly and if you use H32B you need this switch terminal board like this that need a switch terminal board extend and all wall switch have connect with this board and this board use RS232 uh, cable connect with this this part so that will need this part extend it will take some space and this two part also support RS485 and support remote country by the remote uh, support this remote and this supported remote uh, directly because this is a wireless receive module and this is MOSFET output and the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi can work at the same time the MOSFET output need extended relay module just E16 or E8 or DC contact that means uh, you can see this photo uh, this is DC contact and this is E16 external relay module so this needed to output connect with this this part uh, just we can see we DIY it uh, like this the most fit output connect with this relay module and also it, it can, you can connect with this uh, DC contact this is DC contact for large current, uh, this we have used for 25 ampere, and this is 16 ampere. Uh, this is a schematic uh, you can see on our phone. And the HXB series product need a switch terminal board, and no RS485, and with but with the relay inside. And the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi also can work at the same time. So this board like this H32B that if you want to use the wall switch I need this board extend. And this is case 86 a series board uh, that some modules is most fit output some module is really output and the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi can't work at the same time. Uh, you can use Ethernet or you can use Wi-Fi, but Ethernet and Wi-Fi can't work at the same time. So according to this A series board, some board needs external relay module, E16 or E8. Let's look at the A series board. That's mainly uh, designed by ESP32 module. Uh, you can see this is A4 board. 4 channel relay on the board and a 8 channel 8 channel relay on the board uh, but this is a 16 channel that is most fit output so need add the external relay module 
Also, also we are designing the A32, that is 32 really inside. So this is the A series board. This is a different structure of the hardware. Now let's look at what is different for the software. This case 86 server, H32BS and HXB series, that you can use the Kinkoni smart home application and the keybox and the PC software. I have uh, give you see the picture, and this can directly to use. And this is open communication protocol and provide some software demo source code. But the CPU program code is not open source because it's very difficult to code. Uh, this we have coding for many years. It's not easy to change the code. But you can use this software directly. And also you can use the Home Assistant. And now we can look at the A series board. The A series board support uh, open source freeware, Tasmota. Uh, this can free to use and you can change code for, for everyone. We can see uh, what is the Tasmota. This is a Tasmota. It's open source freeware for ESP32 device. And you can see uh, many freeware and uh, the ESP32 and the support device and uh, many many results you can find it and you, you can see the Kinkoni A4 board and the Kinkoni A8 board and all our board is support the task mode and the second you can write the program code use ESP home tools A series board you can use by ESP Home. That is a toy for the ESP32 or ESP module. That's very easy to just configure for automation function. Uh, this is ESP Home. Uh, so you will find this, this toy support many, many, many hardware and a sensor and many resources you can use. All is free. And the third, you can write the code by Arduino IDE. So this you can run running the Arduino ID. You can see I can open this Arduino. Uh, you can see this is code for case 868 AG. Uh, you can write any Arduino code and uh, download it to the ACLS board. And the ACLS board, all hardware and software are open source. Uh, you can find the code and the diagram uh, on our form. You can see this is the Kinkoni form, and you can see uh, this ACLS board. So you will find uh, many source code, 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 many source code. And also diagram, uh, you can find like this document. You can find the schematic A4, A8, A16. You just click and uh, you can see the hardware design. Uh, this is the whole hardware design. So this is uh, for the open source and the hardware and the software for a service part. And the sure about the case 86 server, uh, H32PS and HXP, that use industry metal shoe. And this use plastic uh, shoe. This is a different weight. And the next, uh, we need to match the available product for different modding according to the load country mode. So this is need to choose the product according to the device. If you use just country on off switch type, uh, just like the light, uh, the curtain and the shutter and the veil and the garage door, that just need on off on off. So you can choose this product. Uh, this product is work for on off, no problem. And if you use uh, infrared signal, uh, like and uh, RF for 33 big hertz uh, signal, like the curtain is a wireless curtain and the short wireless curtain, and the air condition because need to control the temperature by the IR or control the TV or multimedia player. So that you can choose this product. 
that is case 868 server AG UL G that can uh, have this hardware resource uh, can send the signal to the uh, this device and this three device uh, you need to write Arduino code uh, or configure in ESP home to use it because it not to need it can't directly to use that you need to download the freeware and the write the code. If you use KC868G, that can only directly support use by Kinkoni Smart Home application. Or you can integrate it to Home Assistant or other software. Just need to write the code and set it. And about the dimming type, uh, maybe you have a dimmer and you have a RGBW LED strip. So you can choose this product. Uh, you can use directly. If you use this product and mainly support the WS uh, 2812B LD strip, that we have make videos on the YouTube channel and just use one GPL. So you can see this video about the LD strip, this LD strip RGBW, and this is for this this way and this d8 that can change brightness of 12 volt LED driver or 110 volt or 220 volt SSR load driver that will need this you can see this is SSR you can use this schematic uh, to constrain the 220 lamp and uh, change the brightness by the SSR because the D8 is output uh, 0 to 10 volt. So this is for 220 volt by SSR. If you want to install on Ding Liu, you just add the heat link. Uh, that will be easy to install on the Ding Liu. And if you change, if you want to connect with the 12 volt LD driver to change the brightness. So you can choose this driver. Uh, this driver will use by LD strip uh, that is for 12 volt LD strip, not RGBW LD strip. You just you can change the brightness. Uh, so you can see this eight channel output and this driver driver output connect with the LD strip. So this is for the dimmer. And at last. Uh, this is for automatic country. If you use the case 868 server, uh, that because have a Raspberry Pi inside, so you can install Node Red or install Home Assistant uh, and make the logical and write the code for any function by yourself. That is logical country by Raspberry Pi. So you can see this diagram. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi CM4 module inside of the server board. So that you can install the node red or home assistant. So this is the automation by the server. And another way is you can use the case 868 uh, CLB. That is just need to use the software to configure and set directly. That will be easy to use. Uh, just you can use this PC software. You can monitor uh, the digital input and uh, the temperature and the analog input and set the if TTT function uh, by your mouse and you not need to write the code and the program. So this is easy to use and not complex uh, logical condition that will be have a local uh, software just to configure and uh, country, logical country by local CPU inside. And this CORB also can integrate uh, to KC86 server because the CLB is an input module, and we can find out the CLB. We can click, and we can see uh, the interface. Uh, this is digital input, analog input, and the five channel temperature sensor. So, if you have used the server, uh, not enough input channel, uh, you want to expand the input channel. So, you can add this CLB, uh, let it connect with the server. So let's look at here. 
uh, if you connect to many sensors and it can do FTT automatic function uh, by to control the H32BS or H32B and the server can make logic uh, but it only have 16 channel DI digital input and 4 channel AI analog input and some GPIO for DIY if you think not enough input part for use so you can integrate CLB to server so that you can not only use the server's input uh, for sensor and but also you can use CLB's input for sensor so that will be many channel input module uh, for sensor can use so this is a CLB if you just want to uh, make some simple logical and not difficult uh, you can use this to set will be very easy and if you uh, make a project or some different or some personality uh, logical uh, so you can use the server and you can install the node red or home assistant to run the lo logical about the node red this is uh, IBM open source software you can open the node red software website uh, that is made from IBM and also is it's very easy to make the logical uh, just by this dry out uh, some notes and set some logical you can easy to do the logical by yourself so this is automatic country solution uh, for the CLB or for the server I think the server is a must and uh, if you have some uh, channel or sound sensor uh, just add the CLB so we can let the server uh, quit in our project firstly and then we can add the CLB uh, for extend the module uh, for the channel of the input okay this is uh, how to prepare before you build a smart home that mainly choose the product uh, from this aspect and the next video we will tell you we begin to make a smart power distribution box uh, step by step okay thanks for watching